I'm so glad that you were able to join us today. Um, so we have some questions and actually just tell us about yourself first. Well, um, my name is Emily. I am a pediatric travel nurse. I have been a nurse for three years now um, and didn't think in the beginning that I would be a pediatric nurse, but here we are. Um, I love it. I'm from Memphis, but I am currently on an assignment in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and it's wonderful. And I full-time RV travel. I'm in a travel trailer and it's me and my dog. Hey. Awesome. Okay. So, okay. How did you find and choose our travel nursing agency? Travel nurses. Okay. How did you find us? So I actually had, um, I was working at Le Bonner Children's Hospital in Memphis at the time. And um, one of my coworkers was going local at St. Jude, which was just next door. And I was, we, we've always talked about traveling. And when I first started nursing, I wanted to travel just because I have a passion for it. Um, and now is the time to just really go for it. And she said that she was getting on with this agency. Um, and it was at St. Jude. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you that, that you got that position. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then they were looking for someone else. And so she referred me and um, she, I got in touch with um, Marissa as my yeah. recruiter. She's awesome. I love her so much. Um, and from there, I got on at St. Jude's, which is, was local at the time. And it was just a great way to jump on in and get everything like figured yeah. out without actually like traveling first. So I got kind of like acquainted um, with it and figured out like how OR Nurses Nationwide like does things and um, kind of just went from there, but it's been awesome. That is so cool. Okay, so what inspired you to become a nurse? I actually, so we're going to have honesty hour and I did not know that I, um, I did not know what I wanted to do when I jumped out of high school. Um, I grew up playing sports, so I went directly into like physical therapy and I was like, well, this must be it. Um, and then just wasn't being fulfilled by that. And I actually, I took a semester off and I just I prayed I just took classes I know I took I took like yoga and swimming and was like I just need to figure out what I want to do um and did a lot of praying and from there you know I, I knew I wanted to help people I knew I had a, a passion for others and I like making connections with other people um I love traveling I didn't know at the time that you know that this opportunity would even arise but um I put it two and two together I was like what can I do that incorporates all these yeah. things you know and and then I was like oh my goodness nursing and so I was like I think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try out for nursing I'm gonna <laughs> so I applied for nursing school um and um yeah and the ball's been rolling ever since then too and I've just yeah and it's been great I know that this is where I'm supposed to be that's good you found your calling yeah yes <laughs> Okay, so you mentioned you um, did PEDS. Um, what made you choose pediatrics as your specialty? It just happened. It kind of just happened. I know that, um, so I want to do a lot of different things in my nursing career. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to just stick with one specialty, but PEDS is hard because it's, I love it. Um, but first in the very beginning, um, I actually liked med search and I, and not many people like med search, but I, love it um because I just like seeing like everything you know and I like talking to people and um yeah and then making the connections but I had actually just applied to an adult med surge and then to the Bonner Children's Hospital um because I'd been there before um not not like as a patient but just to, to tour around and um I really loved it too and I really loved children and um and then Labonna was just the ones who, who chose me and the interview, you know, they were like, we want you. It's like, and they remembered me and it was just all a uh, good thing. So that's how I got into peds. And um, I told myself, you know, if, if I didn't like it, then, you know, I would stick through it. And then if I wanted to go to adults, then I would do that. But it just, I, I think it was, I, you know, it didn't take me long to be like, oh no, it's the children. I love the kids. Yeah. That's great. So how does it feel to be a part of the nursing community? 
Oh, it feels awesome. I feel really, um, and I listen to a bunch of podcasts and, and, sh- uh, you know, I watch shows and, and YouTube videos and stuff, um, just cause I'm a nerd, but, um, I feel really empowered being a nurse. You know, I feel really connected to people all over, you know, like not even just in wherever I am on like my assignment or in my home. I feel, um, I fall, I'm a part of like a bunch of Facebook groups, um, and everyone yeah you know I'll chip in people are answering questions asking questions and we really don't like get judged or hated on ultimately you know we're here to help others so I feel you know I think it's great part of the community and I feel really empowered by it and um yeah I love it (laughs) that's great good yeah I've heard that from almost every nurse that I've talked to they say I just feel so empowered so I that's my favorite question to ask but yeah um okay so you said you traveled with your RV how is it like in the journey because you don't really have to look for housing is it easy is it hard with your RV and stuff like that yeah so I figured out um right away that with the trailer with RV living that when I'm looking for assignments, um, I can't just jump into being like, oh, I want to go here, sign a contract, and then find a place, because some RV parks may be 30, 40 minutes away from the hospital, and I'm one of those people where I like, um, I like to be like 15 minutes away from the hospital, or less, or like 20 minutes max, but I like to be close, Um, that way I just have like time to myself, and to mentally prepare for my shifts and stuff, but so before, I know before this assignment um, with the trailer, I am looking for RV parks before I sign a contract. I'm checking them all out, seeing how much they are. Um, and it really, it hasn't been too bad, but it's, it's been, um, especially during the wintertime, because no one really camps in the wintertime. Summertime is going to be a different story because um, everyone, you know, it, it may be hard to find spots, but um, overall, you know, I feel more I feel more connected to just like doing my own thing in the trailer. I've learned a lot. So I'm just constantly learning, but finding a spot isn't too terribly hard, but it is, it does. I don't even know what the word I'm looking for is. It's hard with, you know, you can't just go anywhere with the trailer. You have to make sure that you you have housing, which is just like apartments. You know, you got to make sure that you have an apartment or housing, at, you know, wherever you go on assignment. But with um, trailers, sometimes it's like, well, there's a wait list or something. So, um, yeah, so I've just done a lot of research, but it's more of like a, a learning curve than anything. Yeah. Okay. So if you wanted to go to a, like a location and they didn't have a good, um, RV park would you like think about like finding housing or you just prefer that the RV I I kind of prefer the RV um I'm not against housing because when I was in Jackson Tennessee at Jackson Memorial um they I was in an apartment there but when you do a short-term lease um you know rent rent goes up Airbnb has a bunch of service fees and stuff um so they get kind of like more iffy and with RV, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm investing all my money and all my time into this thing that I bought and, um, you know, I know where my money's going. Um, so I, I think if, if that ever happened, I would probably, I would stay in my RV, but I would probably just look for different spots or try to make it work. Yeah. Um, but if worse came to worse, um, you know, I wouldn't be uh, against getting like a hotel or seeing, um, seeing what my other options were I'm very open-minded but I do love the RV (laughs) so um it's just like a whole mix of things but I really just go where I feel like my soul is just going to be happiest and where I'm going to thrive um and then just kind of go from there I'll do some research and stuff but that's kind of how I decided to make my move other people are you know they they you know money plays a factor um based on your financial um whatever your whatever your finances are is what I'm trying to say but um for me it's more of like wherever my soul wants to go I'm I'm going and putting my faith in that it'll be a good assignment and they both have been so far so well that's good that's good go with your gut it's you can never go wrong right right that's right um 
Do you travel with anyone? I just travel with my dog, <laughs> but it has been awesome. The RV was a little bit different trying to get her, you know, I, I, I got one that was big enough to where she wasn't going to be cramped and I wasn't going to be cramped together because she's very high energy. And so we have made it work. Um, my family lives in Memphis. Um, it's about five hours away from where I am now. Mm -hmm. and I am a homebody, which sounds so weird because I'm a travel nurse, mm -hmm. but I am a homebody. And so I like to be close or, you know, not too terribly far away from them, but so it's just me and I've got a boyfriend, but he lives in Mississippi and he's all for me. Go out, do your thing. Uh -huh. And I love that. Yeah. And it's an awesome relationship and um, it just helps both of us thrive. I come home with all these stories and when there's FaceTime and we just FaceTime constantly, but yeah, yeah. but the dog has been awesome. She goes, I I've looked at, that was another thing with the, with the trailer um, yeah. with the parks I look to make sure there's a dog park and this one has two and I make sure that she's able to play and I'll go take her to the dog park and there's this app that I use I just used it the other day called Rover where yeah. I'm night shift I'm night shift and so sometimes you know I'll, I'll get four five hours of sleep just max that's usually what I thrive on but um, you know I got to take care of my of myself too mentally and physically and all the above um and so I use this app to find the best candidate to put my dog in like a daycare for the day on like consecutive days that I work and so the other day I got home from work I dropped her off I went to sleep for a long time and it was magical and then I went and picked her up and she was so happy because she was able to play and live her best life as well so we're both living our best lives right now <laughs> All right. So your biggest tips are just making sure they have a place to play whenever you're off. And the app, I've actually heard of that app. I've used it before. It's really great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, do you have any trouble like, like at the RV park with your dog or is it great? Like it is awesome. Um, there's been no issues. Um, and I have a really friendly dog, so she gets along with everybody. Um, you know, I'm on alert and cautious for the other dogs that she's playing with, but in the RV, as far as I know, um, she doesn't bark when I'm, as far as I know, she doesn't bark when I'm gone. No one's complained on me yet. Um, I really do want to get a camera in my RV. I've had a camera in all my apartments, um, but I'm just slacking on getting one for, I, I put all my stuff in storage. So all my cameras are in there right now. Um, but I want to get something to kind of like watch her, but she's been, she's been awesome. And she doesn't use the bathroom in there. I think she's, she knows that she has enough room. She knows that it's her home. Um, and so, yeah, I think my tips are just to make sure that they aren't, I got plenty of treats I've got toys that I put treats in you know and so I keep her I keep her happy and and she makes me happy <laughs> yeah well I know that like being a registered nurse right now is tough um how do you take care of yourself um I know bringing your dog is just a big part of your joy but um how do you like self-care so as, um, as a travel nurse, um, in general too, I, I feel like I have more opportunities to explore things that I don't normally get to see. And so on my days off, I take full, um, all my opportunities. I am, um, I have already planned out hikes that I want to go see, um, you know, I'm going to Top Golf. You know, because I've never been on Top Golf before. So all my days off, I'm going to, you know, I'm I'm exploring and I'm like mentally just I'm 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 rebooting. I'm settling down. You know, I'm having fun. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not just trying to work 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 work. You know, I'm also trying to, yeah, keep myself help, happy and healthy. Yeah. Um, I know that I think that baths are luxury. Yeah, um, I don't have that luxury in my RV. I don't have a bath in mine. And so with this snowstorm that just happened, um, 
was able to, the hospital actually provided, reserved some rooms for the hospital staff and a hotel. Um, and so I had stayed there for two nights um, because of work. And I was like, oh, this is, hotels to me are self-care in general. Cause I'm like, yeah. I'm just lounging, this feels nice. You know, I'm like, there is a bathtub going, you know, there's a nice big shower, you know, and my, my RV is like smaller. So um, doing that's just nice, but also I'm a big, face mask person um and not like a mask person but I get like facial scrubs and so sometimes um even when I'm on nights that I'm working I'll wake up a little bit earlier just to like scrub my face like just really good and put on a face mask and just sit there and Mm -hmm. think about like my night and prepare and just kind of pet myself up I listen to a bunch of motivational speeches on podcasts and music and YouTube videos too because I I love what I do too but sometimes I yeah it's draining sometimes and so I will listen to these motivational speeches and I will lay you know in a mask or something or sometimes just lay back and just you know I don't get too hard on myself if I'm sitting there doing nothing because I'm like okay you know I've been working it's okay sometimes I feel like I have to just go 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 Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's nice to just sit down and reassure yourself that you don't have to keep going all the time. Like it's okay to sit there and relax for a second. And so I'll do that. Um, And I'll listen to these motivational speeches sometimes that are like, like, can you do this? Of course you can do this, you know, (laughs) or something. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so that's kind of like what I do. Um, I, I, and you know, I think that whatever works for you, you know, works for, for you, but there's plenty of ways, yeah, that are, and you can get yourself to recoup um, mm-hmm. mentally and stuff. I'm all about trying them on. I'm not, I don't ever stick to just one thing. I kind of like, okay, this feels good at the moment, you know, you know, like what does my body need right now? And I really just kind of listen to my body. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Yes doing our interview um we appreciate you and we're just so glad you know that you do what you do so thanks well thanks yeah thank you guys for reaching out to me I really appreciate it and um you know I know I'm community I communicate with everyone over there like no problems and um I just I love being with this agency I think that y'all are great so I really appreciate you guys for having me (laughs) Travel Nurses Inc. loves you, so you can love us. We love you. (laughs) Thank you.